Have you ever woken up in a cold sweat thinking to yourself, man, I wish I had a way for System Center Orchestrator to send SMS, text messages, and voice phone calls? Well, my friend, you're in luck today because that's exactly what we're about to take a look at. If you're familiar with Orchestrator, you know that out of the box comes a send email activity, so we can send emails just fine, no problem there. But we all know that important emails often get missed in people's crowded inboxes. So we really want a way to send alternative forms of communication. Maybe that's a text message, maybe it's a voice phone call. We want to do that without integrating some kind of funky modem or expensive third-party service. So the goal is an inexpensive way to get this done from any runbook that we have to send these types of messages alongside email when it's, when it's appropriate. The example solution we're looking at here is a way to do this through a web-based messaging service called Twilio and using PowerShell really as the implementation method. So it's a PowerShell script really encapsulated in a runbook that you could drop in anywhere near existing runbooks. And because it's modular, we can call it as we would call an activity and it basically behaves the same way. For the visually inclined, here's a picture. We have orchestrator with a runbook and that runbook has an activity uh, PowerShell script encapsulated, which calls up to the cloud service that Twilio provides us through HTTP. And then out the other side comes a text message or a voice phone call to a phone. Now let's see what that looks like. On my orchestrator runbook server, I'm looking in runbook designer and I see the several runbooks that are imported when you download this solution. The most important one of these is called Send Twilio Message, and that's the, the runbook that encapsulates the PowerShell script that actually sends the message. As you can see, it accepts three parameters. One is the list of phone numbers, one or more, of the recipients to receive the message, the message type, whether that's SMS text or voice, and the text itself. That will call or execute this PowerShell script that will actually do the message delivery, and then it will record whether success or failure resulted from that. What this looks like in use is as a invoke runbook activity within a runbook. This is a test runbook that just does the one thing, uh, sends the message. But you can imagine this would be a runbook that is in the process of doing a bunch of other things, like deploying a virtual machine, and then at the very end it sends a text message if there was a problem, or maybe it's monitoring some system for some kind of alert condition, and if it finds it, it'll send out a voice call. For our purposes, we'll just show how this runs on its own. If you look in here, all you have to do is put in the recipient phone numbers, which could be one phone number or multiple, separated by commas. You just put in the type. In our case, we'll send a message via text, and then I just put in some kind of text that I want to send, and this in a real situation, in a runbook that's in use for some useful purpose, you would probably provide this dynamically. Whatever needed to be sent would be dynamically consumed or subscribed here. It wouldn't be hard-coded text like this. But let's go ahead and actually just run this. And within a few seconds, what should happen is that the Send Twilio message runbook is kicked off, and it'll go connecting up to the service of, of Twilio's API and then sending that message and returning back to us. So if we look, it's come through now. If we take a look at the result code that came out of this, we should see that it was successful. And to see what actually happened in terms of who received this, I'll flip over to my um, admins computer here that I have set up as a, as a tester. And if we go to texts, we can see that here it is. Um, alerts has just sent us a hey it's orchestrator message through text so that's exactly what we wanted to see and now what if we wanted to send a voice call instead of a text message well to do that we just have to call the same exact runbook in the same fashion with only one difference and that is to specify the type as voice instead of SMS that's what we have here same recipient same message just as voice so to make that happen, we'll run this test. And flipping over to my admins workstation, we can see that we are in fact getting a call from Orchestrator. 
Hey, it's Orchestrator. Just chilling in the data center. What are you up to? And that's our very convincing robot voice reading out our message to us. One more thing I'll point out is that sometimes it's probably not going to be the case that you have a, a phone number at your disposal in a given place in a runbook. So you can do things that look up the phone number on the fly in order to make it a little more natural to use this. One thing I put in the example for that is a, is a runbook that actually sends the same kind of message in the same way, except you, you give it a username instead of a phone number, and it goes and gets the user from Active Directory, looks up their mobile phone number as configured, and then sends the message. So in practice, you don't need to know in code what a user's phone number is. If you happen to know their username, that's good enough. So I have my admin's username right here as a test. If I go ahead and run that, it should do exactly the same thing with the one difference that it's going to go to Active Directory first, look up Nigel.Harding. If it finds him, it's going to pull out his mobile phone number, and then it's going to pass that over and send him a message. And if we flip back to Nigel's PC, we can see that Orchestrator is here again being very persistent with a second message. It really wants a response. So that's the demo. In further videos, we'll take a look at how this works in detail, if you're interested in that, and also how to install this step-by-step -step into your environment to get it working. Thanks.